Okay, I'm, I'm Stefan Lindler from Germany from the company Celemony. We are the makers of Melodyne and Capstan. And on this show we are introducing our next version 2.0 of Melodyne Editor, which will be released in a few weeks and I can show it to you now. Apart from some, um, a lot of small changes in, in workflow and everything, we did add some major features. One is about tuning, the other is about timing. The timing thing, I'll show you first, is uh, we have added a new timing tool. If you know Melodyne already, you know the normal timing tool like we have here, where you can stretch audio notes uh, totally free. And this is the first new thing we have here. We call it the uh, time handle tool. I'll just play it back for you once so you listen what you're hearing, what is going on here. Say, here she's singing this word love. And I just, with the new tool, add a few things here and, and st stretch the word a little bit. Or like this. It's a matter of love and or the other way around. It's a matter of love. So I just overdid it a little bit so you get the idea. So what you're doing here for the first time, you have kind of warp markers inside a node, which is a, a, a workflow speed up for editing lead vocal or for synchronizing dub vocals where you often have the problem that they are starting at the right uh, point in time where you quantize them for example but then during the note you need to shift this and it works in monophonic polyphonic stuff it's great for string sections or whatever so it opens up a, a great new range of possibilities and another tool is our attack speed tool users of Melodyne Studio had this uh, before and it's brand new now for the plugin usage where you can uh, manipulate the, the speed at the beginning of the node. It's kind of a transient design. I show you on a vocal here. Like she's hitting this love really s slowly and I speed this up now. All the other way around. To s you can soften or harden the things like a transient designer and this works brilliantly on all kinds of instruments starting from drums obviously but uh, even going to vocals. So this is all about the timing thing and um, the next thing is about tuning. Uh, you probably remember, let me just revert this here to the original stage, when we invented DNA, <clears throat> just one second, where is my Spanish guitar I want to show you. Here it is. You probably remember back when we show DNA for the first time. With Melodyne we make, made it possible to select a few notes like this C here and move it up to the C sharp, making this chord change from minor to major. That's not a brand new thing, but still every time you see it, it's, it's really nice. Let me undo this here now and now I show you what's actually new. I have some new things I can open up here, some new drawers, and when I use this recording in Melodyne, I open it up for the first time, and then Melodyne is telling me, well, this is A minor. It's nice that it let me know this, and I can now see how would this sound when I switch it to major, but not, and this is the new thing, by moving the single note by hand, I just do it with one command while the playback is rolling, just listen how the blobs move, the notes move now. And I can even go for other scales, like uh, make it a pentatonic scale. Or in this example, use a real Spanish scale, like this one. Let's repeat it. So, what you hear now, what, this is so typically Spanish, because the fundamentals is still the A, and then the first degree in the scale is just a semitone. That's not like major or minor. And Melody knows about all this, and I can easily adopt it like this. And uh, just to show you one or two more tiny little things that are behind this as well, I can even draw up this overview of the tuning because all audio software that does tuning always deals with uh, a normal Western kind of equally tempered tuning steps like you have uh, 12 chromatic keys in an octave and the percentage is 100, 200, 300 and so on. But if you have some uh, other recording like something like this here, This is definitely not a typical Western style of uh, tuning and Metal Metaldyne has a new function called Scale Detective. I just simply 
select a few notes. In this example, I only select the notes that are melodic, not the drums, and do a re-analyzation, apply this to the notes, and I get the exact tuning behind it with all the quarter notes, as you can read here. I could modify them now, but one of the beauty where you would hear this is if you say you want to sing along to such kind of sample, and the singer doesn't find the right notes, and you want to quantize him, you can't quantize him to the normal piano kind of uh, uh, chromatic scale. You need to quantize him to this scale, and you're just two mouse clicks away. You just on first track you find the scale, copy the scale, go to the second, and paste the scale, and then you can correct whatever you have. So it opens up a whole new uh, range of possibilities.